Kyle's a good thrower. Let's see how far he can throw it here. Whoa. Ever since I was a young kid, I, I always wanted to play in the NFL. Oh, he spins away. He could go all the way. Nobody's ever believed me that I could get there, but that's what I want to do. So why can't I do it? Everybody has a story, everybody has a journey. It's not always gonna go the way you want it to. But nobody can take your dream away from you. He's going for the end zone and he's got it. It's been really difficult getting here. A lot of sacrifice has gone into this whole journey. That's part of my story and part of who I am and, and part of what makes me tick, you know, is, is uh, that feeling that you're always being doubted. I'm just gonna have my fingers crossed and to see it come to fruition and fulfilling my lifelong dream it is gonna be pretty special. It's been a while. This makes me miss high school football, man. That Some great memories. I mean, I remember these plays like they were yesterday. I mean, I know all these teams and it just makes me miss it. I started playing football when I was five years old. Uh, my dad was actually the coach of, of uh, my brother's flag football team. So I actually started a year earlier than I was supposed to. It wasn't until seventh grade that I tried out for quarterback, but ended up being the third string quarterback. So third string quarterback in middle school basically means I didn't play quarterback at all in middle school. I remember being so upset about that. I felt like I was the best quarterback. You know, no one was gonna tell me differently, so being told you're the, you're the third best guy, I think it kind of humbled me, but you know, I learned the lesson at a young age that you really have to work hard to achieve your goals, and, and that's a perfect example of it. I was two years where, uh, where I was the third guy, and, and uh, it wasn't until high school where I really got a chance to play. When I finally got my opportunity to play my first varsity high school game, uh, you know, I was definitely nervous, but uh, so excited to compete at the high school level. The first game we played was against Allentown Central Catholic, and I remember throwing four touchdown passes in the game, and, and we put up over 60 points on the board, and you know, right then and there, I kind of gained that confidence. The feeling that I had after that game was such, a, was such an awesome feeling of excitement, and I said, man, I want to do this in college. He was absolutely fearless. In every situation, he thought he was gonna come out on top. There were very, very few games in which, quite frankly, we didn't win when he was our quarterback. Um, and his senior year, he guided us to a perfect regular season record, which had never happened before in the school's history. Everybody expected that I was gonna get that big time offer, but um, it just never happened. For us, it's the million dollar question. I think initially it was very, very hard for him to deal with, but in the end, I think it was a great experience for him. And, uh, you know, we had conversations like, hey, if it doesn't happen, it wasn't meant to be. And I think that was just another thing that, that fueled his fire, you know? I was fortunate that the University of Richmond offered me a scholarship and I thought I, I could really take advantage of, you know, that university and make the most of it. And, and that's exactly what I did. Lalletta right back to the air. It's a long one, and he's got Cortrell Simpson wide open, and the Spiders have the lead. 64 yards, Kyle Lalletta. Lalletta to throw again, and he's going for the end zone, and he's got it to Sean Brissett with the touchdown reception of 32 yards. When I got to the University of Richmond, I always still had the goal of playing in the NFL. Maybe that wasn't completely realistic at first, but I always kept that, that goal in the back of my head. I finally broke through and, you know, I finally had the season that, that everybody had hoped I would have. Led the conference in passing yards. You know, I won conference player of the year. That kind of put me on the map and got the NFL scouts noticing me for the first time. So after my senior season, I, I kind of found myself in a very similar situation to after my high school career. I think the NFL scouts were intrigued by me, but they weren't quite sold on me yet. I saw some reports that was saying that I was projected to be a sixth or seventh round draft pick, maybe a priority free agent. But this time I, I really made it a goal and I said, you know what, I'm not gonna have what happened last time. You know, I made it a goal that, hey, I'm really gonna impress these scouts and, and uh, you know, make them really want me. And I really have three opportunities to make this thing happen. 
I got invited to the, the Reese Senior Bowl, which was a huge opportunity for me. I got invited to the Combine, um, you know, and then I had a third opportunity at the Pro Day. I just thought, hey, go out there. Don't let the nerves get to you. Just, just play like you've been playing, you know, your whole career. And, you know, I just went out there and had fun and, you know, did what I needed to do. You know, I learned my lesson with recruiting out of high school. You know, I got, I got super excited and hyped myself up and, and thought I was going get, to get a ton of offers from a bunch of Division I schools, and, and that never happened. Same thing heading into this draft. I've done everything that I could possibly do to put myself in, in a good position. So, you know, wherever I end up, you know, I, I know I'll be in a good position. I get emotional. <laughs> I get emotional just thinking about Kyle getting that call. Um, it's been a long road and I've watched him work so hard and... Same for me. <laughs> we try not to get ahead of ourselves with, with that kind of, those kind of thoughts, but it'll be a special day. That moment is really gonna be special for me because I'm not supposed to be here. I mean, nobody, nobody thought I would, I would get to this point, and uh, it's been really difficult getting here. You know, I've had to go through a lot of adversity. So much hard work and sacrifice has gone into this moment. So to see it come to fruition, uh, you know, in the, in the form of getting, getting picked in the NFL and, and fulfilling my, uh, my lifelong dream is going to be pretty special. So I'm, I'm certainly excited for that moment.